Hello, my friends. Welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie, and if you are new here, hello, welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing for lots more diamond painting content. And if you are back, as always, welcome back. Today I am here with a sneak peek unboxing for one of Diamond Art Club's new releases this weekend. So thanks Diamond Art Club for sending this over for me to share with you all. Hopefully this gives you a better look at the kit and helps you decide if this is on your shopping list for the weekend. This week I'm really excited to have another beautiful Dakota Dightweiler kit to share with you all. This is Libra, you guys. The whole Zodiac series from Dakota Dightweiler is coming and Libra is a stunner. So um, this is gonna have square shaped diamonds and be a nice big size to do all of this artwork and detail justice. 65 by 81 centimeters, 25.6 by 31.9 inches. Um, we do have the blue square branding up here that they use with their kits that come with square diamonds. And then there's some info on the back about how to diamond paint and your kit contents. And then on the side, we do have a QR code that you can scan for 10% off your purchase. If you're brand new to Diamond Art Club and would like to save 20% off your first purchase, I do have an affiliate discount code you're welcome to use, but are certainly not obligated. That always goes right back into my channel, but um, it's just my name, Katie, K-A-T-I-E, and the number 20. Thanks in advance if you choose to use it, but like I said, no pressure. <laughs> and there are several discount codes that you'll see in this unboxing that you can find elsewhere. So I just recommend take advantage of, of one of them. Uh, this kit along with the other new releases are coming out tomorrow, which is Saturday, August 19th, right? Yes, the 19th. Um, 9.30 a.m. Pacific, 12.30 p.m. Eastern. That's the general release time. If you're in the Diamond or Ruby tier of the rewards program, you do get a half an hour early access window. Uh, sometimes it starts like 45 minutes early even. So just be sure to be checking your email, set your alarms, all the things. So anyway, you're gonna get a toolkit that is gonna have a really solid set of tools. Uh, you do not have to do any fancy upgrades to your toolkit. You can use what comes with your kit. That is perfectly fine. And I had done it before too. So um, you are gonna get, let's see, a pen and squishy. I'm finding these color coordinate more often than not lately, but the colors will be random. They will not always guarantee coordinate to color coordinate like that. You're gonna get a pair of tweezers. They are pointy, so make sure, actually those aren't, as, those aren't terrible. Uh, make sure you keep that cover on when you're not using them. We've got a bag of baggies to store your leftover diamonds in or kit up into. We've got um, a caddy with some heart wax in it. Be sure you peel off this thin plastic film before you try to load up your pen, by the way. And then we've got, ooh, forgot about these. I like to mention these along with a pen usually. A couple of thin plastic multi-placers. If you wanna pop one into the other end of your pen and try your hand at placing more than one diamond at a time. We've also got a tray and then this little plastic piece is actually a tray stopper that just pops right in there and helps keep the diamonds from sliding out. And then here we've got a cover minder and a roll of washi tape. Cover minders have a magnet on the back, two magnets actually, and you can use it to hold back the plastic cover while you diamond paint. And then the washi tape, I, I have a whole video dedicated to how I use washi tape. I use it both around the border of my canvas and a section off my canvas. Uh, it's just, it's really handy. So I'll point you to that video if you'd like to see me explain in more detail, but that's your whole toolkit. You're also going to get a smaller sticker. I like to use this in my paper logbook once I start working on a kit. I like that it has the original artwork and the information about it. And um, you can also use it on the side of the box if you like to help you know organize your stash and stuff or find something else crafty to do with it. I'm not crafty, but <laughs> if you are, have fun, have fun. Everything else is in here. Uh, this branded, it's a plastic bag. You call it a dust cover if you want. <laughs> Let's take a look at this kit. I think, yeah, that looks like that's gonna be the bottom. Oh, look at those blues. You wanna call that these, those white speckles are gonna be ABs or maybe, maybe fairy dust. <gasps> there she is. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, let's roll it to the side. Okay, so absolutely gorgeous. Here, here's what I wanna do first. Um, let me go ahead and pop up a picture for you guys on the screen. So you can see the whole canvas at once since I can't quite fit it in frame. And absolutely stunning, of course. <laughs> Let's go ahead and we're gonna help it lay flat a little easier. You will sometimes find like with this one, that the edges will want to curl a little bit just where it's been rolled uh, and packed around the diamonds and put in the box. So Diamond Art Club uses poured glue on their canvases. And don't mind my, my black cat glitter as I call it. <laughs> I, have a, I have a tuxedo cat and he just sheds 
absolutely like crazy and it just flies through the air, especially in the summer heat. So anyway, you can roll it backwards, totally safe, not gonna damage the glue or the canvas at all. So gorgeous canvas, you guys. You take a look at some of the different elements of it there. So um, my sign is actually Scorpio, but under this like new zodiac system that they that they came up with, I don't know what the official title for it was, but Libra is is my sign under that system. So I, I always have a little bit of an affinity uh, for Libra signs and what Libra represents. Not that I'm really into astrology, but you know, it's fun for the theme paintings like this. We have a nice big bag of diamonds. We'll take a look at those in just a little bit. Here's what else was included. Um, there is a pamphlet here. It says, uh, has a thank you note from the founder on the front. Some information about what's included in your kit. Uh, you can scan that code for a beginner video. I have one that I've done as well that I'll have linked below. VIP Facebook group, step-by-step -step instructions on how to diamond paint, tips and tricks written out for you. Here's another discount code. Info about the mobile app. There's a discount code if you use that for the first time as well. And then here we've got a larger sticker sheet. Uh, there's the title, Libra, DD for Dakota Dietweiler, because they have a lot of, Diamond Art Club has several Zodiac sets. And so um, I've seen like uh, the Zodiac series that they're doing from Chris Abug, they'll put, they'll put CB. So it's nice to have it, you know, um, easily distinguished in that way, I suppose. Uh, so start date, end date, spot, you can write that. There's the original artwork in a little bit bigger size for you to see. So pretty, and I, from what I understand, uh, Dakota Dietweiler created these knowing that Diamond Art Club was going to turn each of the pieces in the series into a diamond painting. I don't think she's she's even completed the set yet, So, um, but this is a stunner. So there's the stats again, and then over here we have a set of pre-cut sticker labels. Um, they are, yeah, they're cut out into like these rectangles for you. Uh, so if you kit up into storage containers or baggies, let me just, <laughs> fix that one. Uh, kit up into storage containers or baggies. Uh, you can just put these labels on there and it's very simple. The color code system you see over here is the same as the DMC color code system. Most diamond painting companies use that. It comes from the DMC brand of Floss. Diamond Art Club's numbering system though, uh, anything under the number 150 is a special kind of diamond called an AB and it looks like we're going to have three of those in this kit. And then if you look at the end of your color code system, we have a couple of colors, ooh, four colors, not a couple, four in total that have a Z at the beginning. And I believe that's fairy dust, another kind of special diamond that Diamond Art Club designed. So um, stoked to take a look at all of those special drills in this kit. We will do that after we have finished kind of going over some of the different features of the canvas. So stay tuned if that's what you're here for. <laughs> Let's go on a little tour. So. At the top, we have their branding, Do What Makes You Sparkle, Diamond Art Club. The edges of the canvas, they're scalloped, they're finished. You're not gonna have to worry about fraying or any other issues like that. And uh, the back is is super soft. Um, so many fuzzies today. That's completely on me. I needed to more thoroughly clean off my, my table space here. Uh, so anyway, the backing is really, really soft and, and plush. The material on the canvas is, is both, it's like thicker, um, and has a nice weight to it, but it's also really malleable. You can see it's like a little bit floppy, but not not a disaster floppy. <laughs> and then we've got a legend or a key code up here at the top left. And you'll find we have the same one over here at the bottom right. And then at the bottom left, we have a thumbnail and then the title, the size, and then copyright. Dakota Dietweiler and Diamond Art Club. So this means that the artist has given permission for the use of your artwork and is being compensated as well by Diamond Art Club. This piece, along with all of the other artwork that Diamond Art Club has, is legally licensed or in a few rare cases, part of the public domain. Um, and in this case, it has been licensed from the artist. So um, I love that about Diamond Art Club and I'm all about supporting shops that are doing right by artists. So love it and then at the bottom here we have their socials best place to stay up to date for new releases and whatnot yet another discount code and then info about the lifetime warranty so all the info is on the website all the details and breakdown of their lifetime warranty but it typically includes things like if you run out of diamonds have any trouble with the canvas or the glue anything like that and the printing on the canvas is really clear lots and lots of shades of blue <laughs> every shade of blue i just worked on a kit that had a similar like lots of shades of blue in the background and it really turned out beautifully <laughs> wow okay so here's a really good example you guys 
cats, please behave. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Um, here's a really good example, you guys, of what we call color blocking. Color blocking is when we have um, a lot of the same color in a section like this. You'll mostly, um, you'll be able to use your multi-placer if you like using multi-placer and you'll have that color in your tray for a while. So areas like that do tend to go more quickly. And then by contrast, areas with higher confetti, which I'm sure we'll see some kind of in her face, like in her mouth here. Sorry, this canvas is a little large and unwieldy. Uh, the butterfly here has some as well. This is more like what we consider confetti. More color changes in a small area, and you'll be changing out the color in your tray a bit more often and single placing for the most part. So uh, that does tend to give you a nice level of detail like we're going to get in this beautiful butterfly, but it takes a little bit longer. So look, we have the... Libra. Um, I like a nice mix of both of my paintings because that confetti keeps it interesting, but color blocking keeps it moving. Look at all those specks. Spoiler, I'm looking over at the legend. All these white dots, or yeah, these white specks which have the black dot in the middle and then the white, white background, those are white ABs. Those are white ABs. Don't tell anyone I told you this early. So we have, yeah, we have the scales on either side. This kit is stunning. Stunning, I love it. <laughs> so there is our, our beautiful Libra in the background. Let's grab our measuring tape actually. Oh, let me flip this, make it a little easier to measure here. And let's see how we're doing. I always like to double check just to see, are we true to size? Are we getting, are we getting what it's advertised as? Okay, so we're at almost 81 centimeters and that's what it's listed as and I wasn't perfectly flat there. <laughs> So, uh, and then we're at just a tick shy. We're like 64 and a half centimeters and it's listed as 65. I'm gonna call that true to size because typically I give companies a centimeter or two of wiggle room, um, no matter the company. So, <laughs> all right, let's take a look at these diamonds, you guys. Uh, big pack of diamonds. We do have a sticker on the front that tells us what kit this goes with in case you store the diamonds separate from the canvas and outside the box they came in, easy enough to match up again later. All right, so all those blues. Are you guys ready for just a sea of blue? I'm ready for it. <laughs> so right off the bat, you guys, we have a couple of bags of 3755. And then if you take a look, this is the first of our special drill colors. This is Z3855. Let me zoom you in because this is a really subtle effect. These are Diamond Art Club's Fairy Dust Diamonds. And if you take a look, you can see that these have a really subtle glitter coating on the top. Gives them their name. It looks like someone sprinkled fairy dust on them. So these definitely have a different effect from regular diamonds. It's a subtle shimmer. It's not as in your face as a different kind of special drill you'll see shortly. Fairy dust diamonds, to be honest with you, they are my favorite of Diamond Art Club's special diamonds. So we have a nice big bag of this really light peachy beige color. And I will take some time after we look at all the diamond colors, I'm going to show you where we're going to find all of these special drill colors on the canvas. So that's the first one. Now, as I mentioned, when we started, these are square diamonds. This kit comes with square diamonds. Uh, there's uh, several bags. Let's see, uh, six bags of a 803. And then one, two, three four or five bags of 312, lots and lots of bags of these different shades of blue. Uh, so Diamond Art Club does make all their diamonds in house. And um, I found that their squares are really pretty consistent in size and shape, really minimal in terms of trash diamonds or diamonds that aren't really usable for one reason or another, where they're, whether they're inconsistent in size or shape or have tabs sticking off the sides. I find that to be pretty uncommon with Diamond Art Club's diamonds. Uh, they are made of resin and they're just they're nice to work with honestly oh here we go two bags of 141 this is one of our ab diamond colors and these are much more striking than the fairy dust diamonds we looked at these have an iridescent coating on the top that just sparkles it really sparkles and catches your eye and this is a really common ab you'll see from diamond art club 141 it's a white ab but that coating on the top is just a rainbow of color it's gorgeous so uh yeah these get the name their name from the northern lights ab aurora borealis all right so that's our that's our second special color our first ab and then 
a variety of gorgeous colors. Ooh, that pop of orange. That's gorgeous. And the flowers, I'm guessing. Maybe the butterfly. Here's our second fairy dust color. Very subtle. This one is a gray. A really light gray. And again, you can see it just has the slightest subtle glitter dusting on the top. Fairy dust drills. Okay. Then Diamond Club does put their diamonds roughly in order of weight. So that's why we had all those big bags. Now we're getting into these smaller bags here. 139, that's our second AB color. Another really striking one. This kind of, it's really a dark gray, but almost has a hint of taupe to it. Love that one. Here we get into some more shades of gray and beige. Here's, ooh, you guys, here's our other two fairy dust colors. So we had the really light peachy beige, we had the gray, and now we have a lavender and a kind of, it's like just a pale orange. And they both just have that really subtle uh, glitter coating on the top. Love it. So we've seen all four fairy dust colors. We should have, I think, one more AB. I think, I think. I think just one more. Let's take a look. By the way, if you're curious, oh yeah, hold on a second, hold that thought. 105, you guys, there is our third and final AB and our seventh and final special drill color. This one is brown. It is brown. I bet that's it. Yeah, it is. So again, spoiler alert, it's in her earring, <laughs> the Libra symbol. Just so you know, I can't help it. <laughs> Uh, but I have a video actually that I did that really demoed and highlighted Diamond Art Club's different special drill types. They didn't ask me to do it. I just thought it would be useful. Uh, so I'll have that linked below too. You know, this one bag that just has maybe, maybe like two, three dozen diamonds in it. I mean, they, they do give us extras. So there's probably like five of that color on this canvas. Uh, so anyway. We've got three ABs, four fairy dust. Let's get to work and find where those are going to go. So the symbols we're looking for. Okay, so first, that pale peachy beige fairy dust color is the letter L. And if you take a look at these flowers, look at the this letter L on the peach background. All of that is that fairy dust color that we saw. And then if you look at... Let's see, there's my cat again. <laughs> uh, this slash symbol right here, right here, this on the orange background with a black slash, that is our orange fairy dust color. And then this one looks kind of like a bow tie. Do you guys name your symbols? I love naming my symbols. The little bow tie symbol is the lavender fairy dust color. So lots of fairy dust colors all throughout here. We're just, we're just not that gray one, just not the gray one. Uh, and over here, this petal that's coming off, it's its around the edges is all the, the peachy beige fairy dust color. Remember how I mentioned that all those white specks, which are the black dots on the white background like these? Those are all white ABs. Uh, these flowers, come on canvas, <laughs> it's like too big, too big. Uh, same situation as the other ones. The letter L is our beigey peach fairy dust. The orange background with the black slash is our orange fairy dust. And then our bow tie, is our purple fairy dust. So these florals are just chock full of fairy dust and I love it. <laughs> I don't see any ABs in those, but tons and tons of white ABs throughout this kit. Remember we had two giant bags of the white ABs. Uh, so any white, I think, I think that any white you're seeing in this kit, like where I'm tracing uh, the highlights on her armor, all along the edge of her sword, the white you're seeing, including this glint right here and going on up here and along the edge here, those are all white ABs. So many white ABs, <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, and then in here, the number one you're seeing, the hilt of the sword has um, a bunch of that brown AB, that's the number one. And then we have that gray, the dark gray with almost a hint of taupe is the number two in, and is in here. Where is, the only one we haven't seen so far, unless I'm overlooking it, is the gray fairy dust color. And I'm wondering where I may be missing it, if it's more up towards the top. Oh, I see it up in the top left, okay. Okay, there wasn't a ton of it. I just wanna make sure I don't completely overlook it. Okay, so on this side of, of her scale, we have white ABs lining right here. We have the peachy beige fairy dust just huge, huge 
uh, bits of it here, this color. The whole center of this is white ABs. It's going to glow. And then we have some of the gray AB going along right here. And then shifting over in her face again, all the white specks you see is the white AB. Um, we have some white AB here. The white that you're seeing up here is white AB. The butterfly has um, the orange fairy dust and the peachy beige fairy dust in, in her. The earring is that, um, that brown AB that I pointed out to you earlier. And then over here on this side of her scales, white ABs all around. And then here we found some of our gray fairy dust. Actually, you guys, I did miss it. There's a little bit of gray fairy dust right here, just a little bit of it, and a little bit of our gray AB down here too. Okay. And then hopping over here, uh, we have some gray fairy dust along the side here, a little bit of the gray AB down here, and some gray fairy dust right here. Like I said, lots of white AB all around the side, and again, the edge of the sword as well. And then we have some more of the gray fairy dust in this side of, of what's holding the side of the scale. There's some gray fairy dust kind of sprinkled throughout in groups of threes and fours and some gray ABs as well. And then, so many special drills, oh my goodness. Uh, as we get up here, not all these specs are white ABs, it's just the ones that have the black dot with the white background. The letter C that you're seeing, all of this is the gray fairy dust. And it's right next to that gray with a hint of taupe AB. So that's gonna have a really pretty effect. I actually love when they do fairy dust right next to ABs. I think it has such, such a pretty effect. So again, look here on the scales. Um, we have the number two and the letter C. The number two is our gray AB. The letter C is our fairy dust diamond color. Same on this side of the scale. And just a couple of that orange fairy dust color sprinkled on there for good measure, so. Love it. I love all of the special drill colors. I just, I love how Diamond Art Club uses them and charts them. All their canvases are hand charted, which means that um, they have a human eye really looking at them and choosing where the different colors are going to go and how they're going to translate the artwork into diamond painting form. And I think they do, they do a beautiful job with Dakota Deitweiler's work. I've completed one uh, called Glass Mermaid, and I'll link to that poster view below in case you'd like to see an example of how a completed Dakota Dietweiler kit can look from Diamond Art Club. Um, it tends to be pretty confetti heavy, which this is, you know, pretty confetti heavy, but there are a good amount of sections that have some color blocking. So, um, but the, the way that it looks finished is just breathtaking, I feel like. And whether or not this is your zodiac sign, I think this could still be a beautiful, beautiful kit to work on, especially getting to work with all those beautiful special drill colors. So anyway, you guys, this again is Libra by Dakota Deitweiler, and it's releasing tomorrow on Diamond Art Club's website at 9.30 a.m. Pacific, 12.30 p.m. Eastern. Don't forget, if you are in the Ruby or Diamond tier of the rewards program, you do get an early access window that you should get that email or text anywhere from half an hour to 45 minutes before the general release time. Just keep an eye on those. Set your alarms. Uh, Dakota Dietweather can be a pretty popular artist there and sometimes will sell out quickly, but who knows? So all I say is if you think you might want this piece, set your alarm so you don't miss out. Let me know in the comments below. What do you think? Is this one on your shopping list? Are you a Libra or are you just gonna pick this one up because the artwork is incredibly stunning? <laughs> I'd love to hear what you think. So thank you so much for watching. Like I said, I just, I hope this was helpful. Hope this helps you make a decision. Thanks again to Diamond Art Club for setting this over. And you guys, if you wanna see lots more diamond painting content for me, a really wide variety of unboxings and reviews and, and, and tutorials and stuff like that, Feel free to subscribe. I'd love to have you, um, but I'm otherwise going to let you go. I hope you have an amazing weekend and a day that's as wonderful as you are, and I'll chat with you in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.